COVID-19 rates are rising across the United States. That has some folks here at home working to stay ahead of a potential surge. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan tells us what folks in Davies County are doing to prepare. Davies County has been one of the hardest hit communities by COVID-19 in the Wabash Valley. Now officials are trying to take lessons learned from the spring to prepare for the fall. According to the state of Indiana, there have been 249 reported positive cases of COVID-19 in Davies County. That's since Tuesday afternoon. There have been 19 deaths. The Davies County Emergency Management Team, Sheriff's Office, and Health Department are hoping to keep that number down. They're starting by stockpiling personal protective equipment. Put our heads together and with our health officer decided that we really need a 90-day supply on hand and put some other measures in place in our buildings to protect against um, a, a COVID-19 infection. That's a 90-day supply of masks, gowns, gloves, and other PPE. The PPE was purchased using funding from the Federal CARES Act. That came at a price tag of $75,000. But the efforts don't stop there. The group plans to go before the commissioners to get some bigger equipment. Equipment like UV lights. These can be rolled into a room uh, opened up in a certain square footage within three minutes will be uh, sanitized, um, so to say, with this UV light. A tool to help keep heavily traveled areas like the health department and Davies County Jail safe. A smaller version would be used to help disinfect masks, all in hopes of protecting against more cases of COVID-19. It's a big job. Our health department, Davies County, has done a wonderful job. Our nurses are awesome, but it's, it's every day, all day. The higher costing items will be discussed at the next Davies County Commissioner's meeting. Working from home in Vincennes, Gary Bryan, News 10.